you guys. I want to talk about Robert Kassar. He calls himself Dr. Robert Kassar. I doubt he's actually a doctor. He's a raw vegan kind of snake oil salesman. I've known about him for about eight years. I've been a vegan for over seven and I found him a little bit before I decided to become a vegan. He was always selling powders and potions and pills and basically just a snake oil salesman. Snake oil salesman means sells bullshit, nonsense. Doesn't work for you just to get your money. And I remember one time someone was asking him, Robert, what do you eat? Because he is ripped, guys. He has like an eight pack, like a freaking 12 pack, even it just protrudes out of his stomach. And he made a video like, oh, this is what I eat. And it was like coconut powder this and avocado powder that. And it was just, it wasn't food. It was just powders that he was trying to sell on his website for like 140 bucks. It's ridiculous. Earth ship products. Anyways, I talked to him and he's pushing this fly earth agenda just as everyone else is just as every other idiot on the internet is pushing this fly earth nonsense and david wolf is i think one of the first vegans to really get on it so he probably introduced it um david wolf probably introduced it to robert sorry so i messaged robert and i try to tell him the earth is not flat i tell him i have my own proof uh i have a saddle i have a, a telescope um i've seen satellites i've seen flags on the moon i've seen you know, planets like Jupiter and Venus and Earth and Mars. Earth, we live on Earth. I've seen, you know, Mars and Jupiter and Saturn. I've seen all these planets. And I study the stars very well. I know we point at Polaris and, you know, the south hemisphere, southern hemisphere has the, su the southern star patterns. And it's just different. I tried to talk to him about it. And he tells me, go get a telescope and you'll see that planets are just wandering stars. I said, no, no, the ancients called them wandering stars because they didn't know what they were. Because all the, all the rest of the stars had the same formations and constellations. We had these stars would zip across the sky. And we know it's called retrograde motion. Apparent local re retrograde motion. We know this. We know this. You can look this up yourself. So I argue with him. Sorry, I got phlegm today, guys. I don't know why. I just got phlegm. I think talking about this flower thing is just making me sick. <laughs> um, anyways, he tells me, if you get a telescope and see it yourself, they don't look like planets. I said, I have taken a telescope. You're not listening to me. I've taken this telescope. I've seen it myself. Look at my pictures. Look at my friend Carol's pictures. I've shown him. He says, no, man, no, satellites are fake. So instead of even answering each claim one at a time, he just bounces around. Every time I prove him wrong at this, he bounces to that. So um, I said, no, no, here's a proof that I took it myself. He's like, no, I'm upside down in Australia right now. I'm gonna take a poop and my poop's gonna run upwards. I said, no, gravity does not go down. Gravity goes inwards to the center of mass. So you could be upside down on this globe, but there's no such thing as upside down. It's all relative to where you are on the globe. And he says, satellites are fake. So he doesn't even answer me. I said, no, satellites aren't fake, here's the video. Then he says, take out a telescope and look at the planets yourself. I said, I just fucking told you that, I just did. He's an idiot. And when you're a flat earther, what you're saying is, this is how bad my thinking is, and I believe all this other stuff. So he's a vegan. He's a vegan, he believes in veganism, he believes in great stuff, but then he says, I believe in flat earth, which totally puts a damper on everything else he's ever said. Now I don't know if I can trust any of his health information. <sighs> Bullshit, man. Oh, I got phlegm. It's for you, Robert. It's for you piece of shit. So I realized how fucking retarded this guy is. How fucking stupid he is. And when I tell him you're fucking retarded, he's like, is that how an indoctrinated globe charge to talk? I can talk how I fucking want. <laughs> I cuss you guys all the time for being stupid idiots. You are stupid idiots. This is proof you're an idiot. Because you say satellites aren't real. I show you proof from my telescope satellites are real. I show you video of satell from satellites and of satellites. I show you pictures of planets and you guys still don't see it. You still don't believe it. You're retarded. You don't know the difference between what's true and what's false. You can't tell what's real and what's not real. That's why you believe in flat earth. Hold on, mate. I really gotta spit this shit out. I gotta looky. I got a hawk for you, Robert. It's for you, buddy. That's for you. Ooh, there we go. Big juicy one. Mm. There we go. Big juicy one on the back of my throat. Just for you, man. And he calls me, oh, brother. I'm proud of you, brother. And you're like, what the fuck are you talking about? What I think it is is that flat earthers just love thinking that they know what they're talking about. It's an arrogance, it's a true, proven, pure arrogance that you're so ignorant, you don't know what you're talking about, yet you're so confident about what you're talking about. So I guess I'll speak slower because I know flat earthers can't follow. The earth is not flat. We know this 
millions of different ways. There's so much evidence. There's so much pictures. There's so much video. There's so many satellites out there. You can see this yourself. How dumb do you have to be to not believe something you could see with your own two eyes? How dumb do you have to be? You guys just can't tell the difference between reality and CGI, so you call everything CGI. That means that you can't trust your own knowledge. You think everyone's lying to you because you can't trust your own knowledge to decipher what's true and false. Someone told you that it's this way and then you, you confirm your whole, everything you see, you confirm to that confirmation bias. Of no, no, it's all just a lie, the government's lying to you. What the fuck does this have to do with the government? You idiots. I'm done.